all right students welcome back from the break let's go ahead everyone people we'll go ahead and continue now listen now we are going to talk about constitutional provision everyone listen to me very carefully everyone listen to me very carefully this constitutional provision i'll be teaching you from the textbook also aram se relax aram se sit keep listening it's also there in your chart book as a summary theek hai everyone now why do we have to learn about the constitutional provision or why do we have to learn about the constitution of india listen to me very carefully now when gst people listen whenever you make any law na to make a law the power is given by the constitution of india who gives the power everyone constitution of india say the power is being derived to make a law now tell me one thing constitution was made back then in 1940s that time in the constitution of india to make the gst ka law was it already written in 1940s that india may gst will come and that time central government and state government will collect gst was it written that time 1940s so people now they had to go ahead and amend the constitution of india so that people so that government gets the power to go ahead and charge what everyone gst see, see to charge any tax to charge any tax the power has to be given by an act act means the law gst law income tax act etc now to make this act the power has to be given by whom constitution of india constitution of india is also known as the mother act because constitution of india gives the power to make the law and only then when the constitution of india gives the power to make the law the government can make the law and then government can collect the tax are we clear everyone without any law government can't collect the tax yes. now to make the law who gives the power and hence we have to study the constitution of india let's go ahead and study the constitution everyone over here now i will talk about i will talk about this constitution provisional now everyone over here see constitutional provision mein there is one article article i told you are big big paragraphs kind of thing you think it to be a small chapter okay everyone now in this article article number 265 is there in the constitution of india which goes ahead and says so the mother act says what no tax shall be levied means you can't impose a tax also and you can't collect also unless you have the authority of law it means if you want to collect a tax you should have the authority of who told this Sorry. article number 265 it is telling if you want to collect any tax it should be by the authority of law are we clear everyone to so tell me gst is collected under gst act income tax is collected under income tax act who told this constitution. constitution of india that any tax to be collected it should be having a law are we clear everyone next so article number 265 just told what everyone no tax shall be levied you can't impose also you can't collect also except by the authority of law it means to collect a tax there should be law the next one article number 245 people it is telling over here article number 245 says that whenever parliament will make the law parliament will make the law for the whole or any part of the territory of india can you tell me what is the parliament everyone the lok sabha and the rajya sabha okay tell me one thing who is the ruling party in the india now BJP. central government basically whichever is the ruling party as of now bjp whoever is the ruling party people listen to me very carefully is there a difference between central government and parliament is there a difference between the central government and the parliament why what is the difference central government is the ruling party theek hai for an example everyone listen carefully for an example we want to get the gst act in india we want to get the gst okay rera act real estate regulation act came now what bjp will do no first the central government in order to run the country better what act they want they will first go ahead and make a draft bill what will they make everyone that the act should look like this they will make a draft saying the act should look like this and then they will introduce the draft in the lok sabha and then lok sabha mein baba some talking some shouting some cheer here there 
ठीक है वन पर्सन शाउटिंग अनदर पर्सन शाउटिंग लाइक दिस टॉकिंग विल हैपन लोकसभा से द बिल विल गो वेर एवरी वन राज्यसभा आर वी क्लियर एवरी वन देन एंड दिस लोकसभा एंड राज्यसभा वंस इट इज पास इट विल गो टू होम प्रेसिडेंट प्रेसिडेंट विल गो एड एंड साइन ऑन द बिल एंड इट विल बिकम वॉट एवरी वन एक्ट एंड देन द एक्ट विल बी मेड एप्लीकेबल टू द either the country or might be it will be made applicable to the part of the country now listen to me very carefully what they are telling is whenever parliament makes a law can you tell me what do you mean by parliament parliament means the parliament means the lok sabha and the rajya sabha they make a law for the whole or any part of the territory of india it means whenever parliament will make law it will make for whom everyone whole or any part of the territory of india so whole of the india ke liye if law has to be made who will make parliament it means the lok sabha and the and the legislature of a state state legislature our state ka vidhan sabha which is there if they are making a law it will be applicable to the whole or any part of the state so tell me one thing parliament if it makes law it will made applicable to the whole of india if state legislature karnataka state legislature makes the law it will be applicable only to the state of karnataka are we clear everyone now both the government can both the government can make the law central government through the parliament and state government through the state are central government will make law through the parliament do you guys agree with me state government will make law through the state legislature now supposingly one topic is there on that central government also made the law state government also made the law whose law will prevail <laughs> central now just imagine so that both the government don't start fighting saying i will make the law for this i will make the law for this government went ahead and made article number 246 are we clear everyone where government distributed the power to make law government made three list list number 1 list number 2 and list number 3 and government told whatever i am telling in list number 1 who will make the law for that parliament central government will pass the bill through the parliament and make the law and this law will be applicable to the state or whole of india theek hai to relating to taxes on income income tax who make the law central government custom duty who will make the law duties of excise on hp man you know hp man everyone what is hp man high speed diesel petroleum crude motor spirit aviation turbine fuel and natural who will make the law everyone and tobacco and tobacco cst central sales tax who will make the law any other matter which is not there in list number 2 and list number 3 who will make the law central government are we clear so union list is the list number 1 who will make the law with respect to those items which are told in list number 1 central government state list which is the list number 2 who will make the law state government through the state now in this list they have gone ahead and given see everyone taxes on agriculture state excise duty on alcoholic liquor uh opium indian hemp narcotics baba all these are narcotics drugs theek hai everyone for this who will make the law state government vat who made the law state government luxuries luxury tax who made the law state government including taxes on entertainment amusement park amusement park etc is there betting gambling who will make the law state government any other matter which both the government want to make the law together will be there in the concurrent list so tell me one thing everyone first of all to collect a tax what should be there first a tax to be collected law has to be there who told article number 265 that to collect a tax law has to be there now then came article number 245 parliament will make law for the whole of india state legislature will make only for the state now so that both the government don't make law on the common topic they divided the power between whom central government to make law with respect to some topic state government with respect to some topics and both the government together with respect to some topics are we clear everyone now but by chance if there is any problem okay parliament will make law for the whole or any part of the india and state legislature will make for the whole or any part of the state next then came article number 246 7 schedule which divided the power to make law between how many list everyone three list one list is known as list number 1 union list who will make the law parliament, parliament. list number 2 will make the law 
state state legislature ke through and list number 3 is concurrent list both the government will together make the law but one point is there over here which says that if by chance any law is made for which both the government may there is a fight might be any time anything happened for an example concurrent list may central government and state government will make the law together but whose whose saying will prevail central or state who will always be supreme central so it's told article number 254 told that it deals with inconsistency between law of parliament and state article number 254 deals with the supremacy of law made by if in future any fight happens Whose law will prevail? Law made by center or state? Yeah. Center. Are we all clear till here? Can I go ahead everyone? Now, you tell me one thing. They had to now. Did you see anywhere GST? But GST ka law will be made by whom? Central government will collect CGST. So, central government also will make. State government will collect SGST. So, state government will also make. It means both the government want to make the law for GST. Yes or no everyone? So, where should the GST be included? Concurrent list may if GST is included, whose law will be superior always? State government told see GST is coming, we are 50-50 partner. You can't be supreme. I can't be junior, you can't be senior. Yes or no, everyone? And hence, since state government told we don't want to include GST in the concurrent list. Are we clear, everyone? And they told no, central government, you can't be supreme. Both the government should make the law. Equal power should be there to make the law for GST. Is my point clear to all? And hence, they went ahead and introduced Article Number 246A. What did they introduce, everyone? Article Number 246A, where they went ahead and told whatever is told in Article 246. List Number 1, List Number 2, List Number 3. Forget it. Whatever is told in Article Number 254. What is 254, everyone? Who will be supreme? forget it they told central government will be supreme forget it we both are equal now not withstanding means what everyone put it in the dustbin article number 246 and 250 forget it and now they are telling see now what they are telling parliament will make law and legislature of every state will make law for what with respect to gst imposed by union means central government will impose cgst right who will make the law Parliament. State legislature means for SGST. So, sir, they will have the power to make law with respect to GST imposed by union and the state. So, tell me one thing. For Karnataka, Karnataka state legislature will make the law. Karnataka SGST Act. For Tamil Nadu, Tamil Nadu state government will make Tamil Nadu SGST Act. And people for CGST? Parliament will make law for CGST. Are we clear everyone? Is my point clear to all? Can we go ahead? Next. Tell me one thing. Whenever it is interstate transaction, one state to another state, people tell me one thing. Now to collect CGST and to collect SGST, CGST who will make the law? Parliament. Parliament. And Parliament made which law, you know, CGST Act. Now under this Act, what will be collected? CGST. And SGST will be made by whom? State. Under this, what will be collected? And SGST Act, SG, state legislature made what everyone? SGST. Under the SGST Act, what is collected? Are we all clear till here? Can I go ahead everyone? Is my point clear to all? Now you will tell me sir, UT who will make the law? Central government made UT GST Act also. Under UT GST Act, UT GST will be collected. Is my point clear to all? Can I go ahead everyone? Now, tell me one thing. Article number 265. No tax can be collected or imposed without authority of law. Correct everyone? Now, central government, parliament will make law for the whole of India. State legislature for the state. So that there is no fight. They divided the power between all the three. Article number 246. Union list, who will make the law? Parliament. State list, who will make the law? State government. State legislature get through. And concurrent list will make the law. Both parliament, both basically central government and state government will make the law together. Are we all clear till here? Now, so you list number one who makes the law? State, central government. List number two, state government. And list number three, both the government together.
so that they and whose law will prevail if there is any supremacy central ka law will prevail so that there is no now they went ahead and told sir we don't want anyone to be supreme or junior and hence they went ahead and introduced what everyone new section article number 246a which told parliament will make law for what everyone cgst and state legislature for sgst with respect to such state means karnataka ka state legislature for karnataka sgst are we all clear till here now tell me one thing whenever it is a transaction from one state to another state from one state supposingly karnataka to another state supposingly tamil nadu from one state to another state whenever it's a transaction can you tell me it is interstate right everyone what will be charged over here this igst ka law will be made by state government or central government so it means this igst ka law will be made by whom parliament are we clear see over here the baba this is what i am talking now the same thing i have written down authors comment so that whenever you want to read in future you can read okay everyone now parliament has exclusive power with respect to gst when the supply of goods or service or both takes place in the course of interstate trade or so igst related law who will make everyone parliament state will the state legislature make or parliament only are we clear everyone next this provision which is there you don't need it now now tell me one thing this igst ka law will be made by parliament it will go to whom seller and it will be collected by whom central government will collect the igst it will divide between itself and half to whom which state government destination state government but if this state mein this person is a registered person then the credit will be given is my point 100% clear sure everyone now tell me one thing see where is it told that igst will be collected by central government central government will keep some portion remaining portion to the state it is told here i did not say baba it is told here see article number 269 levy and collection of what gst on interstate supply gst on supply in the interstate trade or commerce that is igst shall be collected by whom central government central government will apportion between whom Se union means center and state in the manner provided by parliament this you leave it now tell me igst will be collected by and central government will divide between central government and that's all are we all clear tell me one thing importing from outside india intra or inter yeah. getting goods from outside india intra or inter yeah. inter inter may what will charge who told this i did not say here see for this purpose supply of goods or service in the course of import shall be treated as what everyone interstate trade or commerce can you tell me everyone interstate what will be levied igst igst will be collected by whom central government will divide between whom center and state is my point clear everyone over here i told you article number 265 you can't collect a tax without the authority of law article number 245 parliament will make law for the whole of india state legislature for the state article number 246 so that both the government don't fight on a common topic to make the law they divided the power to make the law between how many list yes. list number 1 union list list number 2 state yes. list list number 3 concurrent list now in all the three gst was not there so they went ahead and introduced article number 246 a <laughs> where they told provides the power to central and state to levy gst together now tell me one thing if i want to charge gst together central government wants to charge cgst state government wants to charge sgst who gave them the power article number 246 a but in case of interstate always who will make the law parliament will make the law but this i this igst will be collected article number 269a igst shall be collected by whom and central government will divide between whom center and state are we all 100% clear till here people read this much and tell me if you are clear can i go ahead read this much and tell me are we all clear till here
Are we all clear? Can we go ahead, everyone? Clear till here? Now, we have one small box on the right side. Can you see over here? I have, this can be asked in the exam for one mark. So, I have gone ahead and given it. Listen. What are the various goods and services on which the various types of taxes are being charged? Everyone over here now. Number one, alcoholic liquor for human. Whenever it is manufactured, state government charges what everyone? Whenever you manufacture alcoholic liquor, your state government will charge what everyone? State excise duty. Whenever you sell it, if I am a shopkeeper selling alcohol, what is charge? Value added. If I sell from one state to another, central sales tax. What is it called? Central sales tax. When you are selling from one state to another, what do you have to charge? CST, central sales. But if you are selling within the state, what will you charge? Right. GST, not there on alcohol. Can I go ahead, everyone? Next. You remember HP man, everyone? What is HP man? HP diesel, petroleum crude, motor spirit, aviation turbine fuel and natural. On this, state excise duty is not there, but manufacturing pay, central government charges what? Central excise duty. Whenever any manufacturing will be done, central government will charge what everyone? And whenever you sell, no, within the state, what will you charge? If I am selling all this HP man product, what will I charge? What? But if I am selling from one state to another? CST. Can I go ahead everyone? Next. GST will come or not? No. Tobacco, you know tobacco and tobacco items which are there, tobacco and tobacco items pay, whenever it is manufactured, what is charged everyone? Central excise duty. What is charged? Central excise duty. And when it is sold, what will you charge? GST. So can you tell me one item on which central excise duty and GST both are charged? Tobacco. Tobacco pay for central excise duty. For an example, if I am selling tobacco and I sold 100 rupees ka tobacco, central excise duty will come? 10% for an example, 10 rupees, how much? 100 and? GST will come, supposingly 20%. How much is 20%? 22. How much is the total? Now you will tell me, sir, cascading effect came. Government told, don't chew tobacco. Leave it. Are we guys able to understand what government is selling over here? Tobacco is the product on which GST will also come and on manufacturing what will come? Central excise duty. The next one over here is OPM, Baba, or OPM, narcotics, drugs, all these which are there, illegally nahi, Baba. legally it is allowed for medicines, etc., medicinal purposes, wherever legally it is allowed, not legally it is not, drugs are not allowed everywhere, but for medical purposes, drugs whenever are being manufactured, all these OPM, narcotics, etc., drug substances, state government charges what? State excise duty, whenever it is sold, what will come? GST also will come. Are we clear everyone? And all other goods. My phone, what will come? GST. Only GST. Mic, what will come? GST. GST. Pencil, what will come? GST. Only GST will come. Are we all clear everyone? They can ask you in the exam, various item, on various item, what are the various goods? V v various taxes. Are we clear? Can we go ahead everyone? Next. People, over here now, in your book, please come in your book, everyone. We have something called GST. Oh, you don't have to come to your book. You have to be in your chart only. GST Council. Listen to me very carefully. People over here now. What do you mean by the GST Council? It's a committee. Okay, people listen. GST is a new law. GST is a new law. So people watching at home, I pause the video, continue now. Everyone over here, GST council. What do you mean by GST council, everyone? Listen, GST is a new law, right? GST is a new law. GST is a new law. Now, whenever anything new comes, you will have some or the other problem. Yes or no, everyone? You will have some or the other problem which will definitely come. So government made the new GST law. Now government knew that after we introduced the GST law, problems will come. People will come and say, sir, you made this law, this problem is happening, that problem is happening. So, we will form one committee where all the problems will be discussed. Whenever any problem comes from any state, we will do the discussion. Are we clear, everyone? And hence, government went ahead and formed one GST council. 
where government told from every state we will have one member because every state will have some or the other problem which will be there. So any state has problem that state ka one member will be there who will be there in the GST council. Are we clear? So what will happen because GST is a new law, all the state ka members will become the GST council ka members. State ka members, how many states are there? 31 state. So 31 state ka 31 members will be there. Plus two union members central government ka how many member two and hence they went ahead and told in the gst council we will have council means gst council which is formed under article number 279a of the constitution of india so baba gst constitution of india ke under one council was formed which is gst council mr pranam mukherjee was there that time the president of india now he constituted the gst council wherein how many member union member Baba, Ms. Nirmala Sitaraman is there. She is the chairman of the committee. Then another member is also a union minister. And his name, but his name is what? Union minister of? Actually, he is a union minister. Central government ka minister. But his name is what, everyone? Union minister of state. And he is in charge of what? Revenue and finance. He is in charge of the revenue and finance. So two members from the union. And how many from the state? Either that state ka finance minister or that state, Samadlo Karnataka, Karnataka ka taxation minister or any other minister which who is nominated by the state or union territories. But can you tell me how many states are there everyone as of now? 31. Why UTs ka members are not there? Because union government ka members, central government ka members are already there. And union means, UT means union territory which is run by the central government. Are we clear everyone? So if I go ahead and tell you how many members are there in the GST council? Two union member plus 31 state finance minister. How many members we have? 33 members. Are we clear everyone? Is my point clear to all? Now people then. So what will happen is in the GST council we will have 31 state finance ministers who are sitting and Two union members will be sitting. For an example, Karnataka, Karnataka state government, ka, this person is there. He is sitting over here. He will tell, in our state, because of the coming of GST, traders are not happy. Traders want GST rate to be reduced. Please do something about it. Are you guys able to understand? This council will discuss then. This council will. You have seen no GST council meeting. In the meeting, what did they do? They will discuss the problems and then they will do voting. Should we increase the rate to from 28? Should we reduce the rate to 18 percent? Everyone, please vote. So everyone will do voting in the council. And if if they come up with a decision, they will do what everyone? This council, GST council will give their recommendation. What do they do, everyone? Recommendation. recommendation they will give to the government. To the Government, they will give their recommendation saying, we think that the rate of GST from 28 should be reduced to how much? 18. And government will issue one notification. Government will issue what everyone? Notification. notification that from today, the GST rate on this item is 18%. Notification means any new change to be brought, government issues what everyone? But for every notification to be issued, government takes whose recommendation everyone? GST, GST council. And GST council is nothing other than a committee. Formed by whom? Yeah. Center and the states together. Are we clear everyone? That is what is being told over here. That see, article number 279A of the constitution empowers the president to constitute what? Joint forum of the center and state which is known as the GST council. GST council, the joint forum of the center and the state is known as GST. It is a joint forum of the center and the states. The provision relating to GST council came into effect on 12 September 2016 means government made provision saying GST council will have this many members, GST council ka work will be this, 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 this. One provision means government made GST ka provision saying these are the people who will be there in the council, this will be the work of the council, all this thing prepared. But actually the council was created on what date? 15th of September. Government created the GST council on what date everyone? Who created? Constituted President of India. 
are we all clear till here next so if they ask you in the exam who constituted the council president of india on what date 15th september 2016 everything is written in your chart book don't worry about it gst council constituted on 15th of september how many member two union member 31 what state finance minister or any minister nominated are we all clear till here see next so it sold union finance minister union minister of state his name is what union minister of but he is actually a union member union member means central government ka minister and he is in charge of what revenue and and how many states 31 so from 31 state 31 state ka ministers will also come can i go ahead everyone now when the gst council ka meeting is held what is the council ka work the gst council which is created what is the work of the gst council number one you know central government did some taxes swaha state government did some taxes swaha who told them that central government should give up this taxes state government should give up this taxes who told council the function of the council is to make recommendation to the union and state on the important issues like the taxes says surcharge which may be subsumed into yes. people tell me one thing which taxes will go which state taxes will go who told this gst council are we clear everyone that goods and services which are subject to gst and which are exempted from yes. on what item gst will come on what item gst will not come who will tell this gst council next means sir mobile pay 18 percent milk no gst who told that milk pay gst will not be there gst council now actually what happened Government saw whatever public necessity items are there, whatever public necessity items are there, government kept it under exemption. Government told we will not charge any tax. Are we clear? All this milk, then food grains, government told we will not go ahead and charge any tax and it will be exempted. Now, luxury item, luxury car, 28%. Who told this? Council. Are we clear, everyone? Next model gst law how should the gst law look like principles of levy when will gst be levied everyone whenever goods or service is being supplied gst will be levied who told council apportionment of gst on interstate supply are igst will be divided between center and state how much division center will keep how much state will keep who will tell gst council next this uh the principle that govern place of supply as of now you leave it place of supply you will learn in the last chapter then you will understand next threshold limit for turnover will always no gst is required baba registration limit will be 40 lakh who decided okay. council rate of gst on this item 18 on this 28 on this 5 percent who decided gst council special rate for specified period to raise additional resources during any natural calamity or disaster for an example now you will see in kerala kerala flood cess was charged before some years in kerala to recover kerala may because there was problem in kerala that flood had come now government wanted money government charged kerala flood cess kfc are we clear everyone kerala flood cess which was being charged who allowed them to charge council allowed the government to charge now there are some states which are known as special category state i want you guys to remember special category states very easy baba do you now remember hp man you will remember everything don't worry first time is always difficult second and third time it will always be easy now special category states people but tell me one thing those people who live in special category state are they not humans yes or no yes sir they are also humans so you have to remember humans of tripura and jammu and kashmir h for himachal pradesh u for uttarakhand m for meghalaya manipur Mizoram, A for Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, 
एन फॉर नागालैंड एस फॉर सिक्किम कैन यू टेल मी द स्पेशल कैटेगरी स्टेट एवरी वन ह्यूम ऑफ त्रिपुरा एंड जम्मू एंड कश्मीर कैन यू टेल मी ह्यूम एच मीन्स हिमाचल प्रदेश यू मीन्स उत्तराखंड एम मीन्स मेघालय मणिपुर मिजोराम ए फॉर आसाम एन फॉर एन फॉर नागालैंड एस फॉर सिक्किम एंड त्रिपुरा एंड जम्मू एंड कश्मीर हाउ मेनी स्पेशल कैटेगरी स्टेट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन लेवन लेवन स्पेशल कैटेगरी स्टेट नाउ दिस स्पेशल कैटेगरी स्टेट्स के लिए बिकॉज दिज आर दिली रीजन हिली रीजन एक्सेट्रा गवर्नमेंट वेंटेड एंड टोल्ड फॉर दिस स्पेशल स्टेट वी विल मेक स्पेशल प्रोविजन फॉर एन एग्जाम्पल टेल मी वन थिंग इन कर्नाटका कीपिंग ए रजिस्ट्रेशन लिमिट ऑफ फोर्टी लैख इज ओके But if in the mountain you keep forty lakh a limit, no one will come under registration only, because people will not have forty lakh a turnover. In Karnataka, one small shopkeeper might have forty lakh a turnover. Do you guys agree with me? But in hilly region, the turnover limit has to be kept less. That registration has to be taken in ten lakh rupees only. Are you guys able to understand? Now, who will decide for special category state what will be the limit? So they told that special provision with respect to which state, everyone. Special category state. All these are special category state. I have gone ahead and already told you. Can I go ahead, everyone? Next, you know petrol, petrol which is there. As of now, petrol pay there is no GST. As of now, petrol pay there is no. GST. But government is telling we will get one day when the council will allow us. Government will issue a notification and government will charge GST on what everyone petrol. Tell me one thing. Can alcohol pay government ever charge GST? Why? Mother promise government have taken. Yes, everyone in the Mother Act. But can petrol pay government charge GST? Yes. When council will allow. See everyone. The date on which GST to be levied on HP man who will decide? Council will decide. Are we all clear till here, everyone? So what are the various functions of the council? See here I have written to make recommendation to the union and state which taxes has to be. subsume the rate of gst the goods which are subject to gst and goods which are special provision with respect to special category what are special category state everyone yes. humans of tripura and jammu and and date on which gst will be levied on do you remember hp man and what will be the threshold limit of turnover for registration who will decide gst council now people over here they have given this half of the number of members shall constitute the quorum at its meeting people tell me one thing gst council how many members now how many members have to be present so that one meeting can be held that is known as quorum do you guys agree with me what is quorum everyone minimum number of members that are required for a meeting to be held that is known as quorum now gst council ka meeting to be held half of the number of members should be present half means 16 point 16.5 one will send his kid saying you go no baba it will be how many everyone 17 are we clear but in the exam what will you write half of the number of members should be present only then one meeting can be held now tell me one thing 33 member means central government has how many member two member and state government has how many member 31 member what they are telling is the vote ka weight every decision of the gst council will be taken by majority of not less than 3/4 of the weighted votes of the member present and voting it means how much should be majority is achieved 75% only when you achieve 75% majority is achieved 3/4 means what 75% do you guys agree with me 3/4 is 75% what they are telling is vote ka weight of the center is one third of the total weight and votes of the state taken together is two third of the total votes casted in the meeting means their vote ka weight is how much one third and state ka is how much one third means 33.33% and their votes ka weight is how much 66.67% do you guys agree with me are we all clear till here this should be divided by the number of member how many member this is how many member 
कैन यू टेल मी हाउ मच यूनियन मेंबर पर मेंबर का वोट का वेट इज हाउ मच समथिंग सिक्सटीन पॉइंट सिक्सटीन परसेंट अप्रोक्सिमेटली राइट तो एक निर्मला सीतारामन टोल्ड यस आई अग्री ओके फॉर एन एग्जाम्पल वन वन डिस्कशन वॉज गोइंग ऑन वेर दे वॉन्टेड टू डिसाइड वेदर वी शुड कीप द रेट ऑफ जीएसटी ऑन लॉटरी एटीन परसेंट और ट्वेंटी एट परसेंट हाउ मच एटीन परसेंट और एक्चुअली इन द थर्टी फिफ्थ और थर्टी सिक्स जीएसटी काउंसिल मीटिंग फर्स्ट टाइम दिस मेथड वॉज यूज वोटिंग सिस्टम ओके एंड दैट वॉज यूज फॉर लॉटरी वेदर वी शुड कीप लॉटरी पे एटीन और ट्वेंटी एट परसेंट आर वी क्लियर एवरी वन नाउ यू टेल मी वन थिंग यूनियन मेंबर का पर मेंबर का वोट का वेट इज हाउ मच सिक्सटीन परसेंट Nirmala Sitaraman told I agree 28% GST should be there on lottery 16.5% uh, approximately casted in favor another union member who is there union member of state correct everyone he told I also agree how much casted in favor 33.33% casted in favor per state ka member ka vote ka weight is how much this divided by 31 means 2% approximately Karnataka told for us to no lottery only ha it should be 28% 2% casted in favor like this every state should agree and total should be how much everyone Seven. only then a decision can be taken did you guys understand this everyone tell me one thing how much is the weight of the uh, how much is the total number of member Seven. how much is the quorum Seven. half how much how many members center ka two how many state ka member Seven. so 33% should be divided between how many member How many? How much should be divided between 66.67 percent should be divided between 31 states. Correct, everyone. Per state ka vote ka weight is how much? 2 percent approximately. Correct. How much is union member ka per member ka vote ka weight? Like this, everyone should cast in favor. Ah, I agree. I agree. I agree. And it should be how much, everyone? Only then you can take a decision that okay, lottery per rate today onward should be now. If it is casted in favor, council will give recommendation to whom? Government and government will issue what everyone? Are we all clear till here? I always tell it N G R C notified by the government on the recommendation of council will recommend government will notify. Can I go ahead everyone? Now see here, this point is clear. Are we all clear till here? But you know what? they always tell here members present and voting so this should be always divided by how many members are present and voting so for an example only 26 member came so this will be divided by only are we clear everyone but for your exam it is not important you just have to remember that it should be divided by the number of members are we clear everyone 31 members are there 31 members can i go ahead everyone is my point clear to all people tell me one thing are we all clear clear anyone in it out can i go ahead chalo people quorum is half half of the number of member majority for a decision to be taken is how much 3/4 of the weighted votes of the member who are present and weight of the votes is how much center is 1/3 means 33.33% center state government is how much 2/3 and majority is how much 3/4 3/4 that is how much percent and 2/3 is how much percent people are we clear with this shall i explain again got it got it got it everyone sure can i go ahead next everyone over here now we are done with the gst council now the next one over here is the common portal can you guys see the common portal people tell me one thing gst council mein how many members are there 33 quorum is how much half center ka vote ka weight is how much 1/3 which is how much percent 30.33% central state ka vote ka weight is how much 66.67 which is actually 2/3 right and majority can be taken only when 3/4 of the weighted votes are in favor are we clear 3/4 means what did everyone get it can i go ahead next the next one over here is the common portal can you guys see the common portal here this common portal i will go ahead and teach it to you from portal only this is the common portal first of all what do you mean by common portal baba this is the common portal gst.gov.in can you guys see this gst.gov.in this is the common portal why do we call it as the common portal 
when you have to pay cgst or you have to pay sgst you will go to this one common portal only here only you will go log in and make the payment so this portal is being used by central government also this portal is going being used by state government also so whenever you have to pay cgst or sgst where will you go common portal so this is known as the this portal is known as the common portal because it's being commonly used by the central government also and the are we clear it is not that central government ke liye you have to go here state government ke liye another portal is there no can we go ahead everyone this is one common portal other common portal is e way bill ka portal which is here this is e way bill gst.gov.in can you guys see e way bill gst.gov.in e way bill not login ha huh. e way bill gst.gov.in this is the other portal which is again known as the common portal now this one more i told you which one everyone gst dot gov dot this is one more common portal this is gst dot gov dot in this is known as the common portal what can you do in gst dot gov dot in everyone registration payment refund all gst related things can be done in the common portal why common portal it's commonly used by central government and state government we have one more common portal which is e way bill ka portal are we clear e way bill i am yet to teach you guys but whenever you are going on the way no whenever you are taking goods on the way and going you have to doc generate one document which is known as what everyone e way bill i will teach you about this because we will have one full chapter this portal is also known as which portal everyone common, common portal e way bill portal is also known as common portal sir what do we do in e way bill portal i'll explain you when we come to the chapter we have one more portal which is known as common portal e invoice ka portal e invoice 1 e invoice 2 e invoice 3 e invoice 4 gst like this we have 10 portal how many portal e invoice 1 gst.gov.in e invoice 2 gst.gov.in like this how many portals are there these portals are also known as common portal what do you do in invoice portal we will be learning later about the invoice portal but as of now you have to learn what everyone this is also known as the common portal see over here this is the invoice ka portal can i go ahead everyone now if you see over here gst portal gst.gov.in in managed by gst and goods and service tax network everyone i'll show you over here when you go to gst.gov.in you will be able to see this is developed designed and managed by whom gst and goods and service tax network who is goods and service tax network it's a company it's a company who manages this website gst.gov.in next gstn goods and service tax network ke bare mein they have told little it's a not for profit company which is incorporated under section number 8 of the companies act it has it information technology has been set up by the government to establish uniform interface for tax payers and a common in and shared infrastructure between whom so people for us it's a common place where we have to pay cgst and sgst and who shares it central government and state government and where do we go and pay the taxes gst.gov.in next the gst portal can be accessed over the internet by tax payer people where did we access the gst portal just now internet correct now once we upload all the data people listen to me very carefully once i upload gst.gov.in me i went and filed my return where did i access gst.gov.in internet i will upload all the detail it will go and save in a server which is government ka server now how will the gst officers access the data they can directly access the server and they will get all the data yes or no everyone so they don't need internet they need intranet what is intranet within the organization for an example if i have to go ahead and search anything within our organization it will be saved in our organization ka data server from there i can access without the internet only and that is why they are telling over here gst portal is accessible over the internet and by cas and advocate and intranet by whom tax official are we clear with this point next what is the function of the goods and service tax network the company which is there who created what everyone gst.gov. 
this gstn what is their work this network gstn networks the company which is there what is their work why was it created by the government to manage the gst portal correct everyone to see over here it will facilitate tell me one thing when i have to take registration where will i go gst.gov.in so gstn will do what it will facilitate registration forwarding the return to central and state authority tell me one thing i will file my return in the gst.gov.in my return will be sent to the gst officer who will check who will send gstn now tell me one thing i gst i will pay where in the gst.gov. yes or no now igst will come in the gst.gov.in i will pay this how much should go to central government how much should go to which state who will do the computation and payment and settlement the portal gstn the company which is there see once i make the payment of gst you know 50 percent should go to central government 50 percent should go to state government who will decide who will do it it is not that government will sit with one paper and pen oh you state you will take this much hey you state no gstn does the computation it's told over here computation and settlement of igst who will do gstn now matching of tax payment detail with the banking network i went online and i made tax ka payment did the government receive it who will check gstn providing various mis report what is mis everyone management in information system or monthly information system report to the central government and state government based on taxpayers return people how much was this month ka collection how much went to central government how much went to state government did we earn little more than last month baba every month they will say no this month gst collection was 1.4 lakh crore how do they get this information who gives them gstn providing analysis about taxpayers profile ramesh is a risky taxpayer he is not paying his taxes correctly there is a doubt he is taking more input uh, all this analysis who does gstn are we clear everyone can i go ahead see the portal is a one single stop a single common portal for all your registration paying tax filing of return etc but primarily it provides you three things registration payment and return now tell me one thing one is gst.gov.in which we learned the other is what eway bill gst.gov.in gstn is managing what gst.gov.in eway bill portal who manages an e invoice 1 to 10 the portal which is there who manages them see over here everyone who manages national informatics center and here e invoice portal who manages national informatics center are we clear but gstn who manages gst.gov.in is managed by gstn are we all clear everyone now everyone over here see this both are managers what everyone these both are being managed by whom national informatics i have already told you about the functions of the gstn which is what what is gstn ka function main function registration, registration computation and settlement of igst matching of tax payment detail with banking that was providing monthly information system report to the government forwarding your return to the center and the state providing analysis about the taxpayers profile are we clear whose work it is gst now the same thing was also told in the textbook over here now people tell me one thing what are the various things we have learned till now and then i'll go ahead first tell me one thing you now think in your brain what did we learn starting first article number 366 we told gst means any tax on supply of goods services or both correct or not except alcoholic with me everyone with me except alcoholic liquor for human tax coming we learned compulsory payment under an act so that government can provide you various public services right everyone we learn difference between direct tax and indirect tax then i told you about the problems with the earlier tax system correct everyone then i told what is what is the features of gst you remember everyone gst is a tax it's a tax on supply of goods services or both it's a 
consumption tax remember remember everyone try try it's a destination tax it's a value added then we learned about the benefits then i told what are the central taxes gone state taxes gone and which are the taxes not gone are you able to flow are you able to go in the flow everyone not flow are you able to go in the flow the next one dual dual model india has adopted dual model from whom canada, canada. Dual model means what everyone, any transaction, both the government will go ahead and charge the tax. Central government charges, CGST, state government charges, SGST. Then we learned about intra and inter. Then I told you about the various goods and service and what is the taxes. Then I told you about the constitutional provisions. You remember everyone? And the last one we learned about the various GST common portal. Can I go ahead everyone? Now, we have on the left hand side, one point which is GSPs and ASPs. Can you see everyone? GSP and ASPs. GST Subida Provider and Application Service Provider. At intermediate level, not very important, but we'll quickly understand the basic of it. GSP and ASP. GSP is GST Subida Providers and ASPs are Application Service Provider. Now, what do you mean by a GSP and what do you mean by an ASP? GSPs, what do you mean by a GST Suvida provider? Can you tell me Suvida means what? Facility or ease, correct or not everyone? GST Suvida provider. For an example, this is your GST.gov.in. What is this GST.gov.in? Basically managed by whom? GSTN. Here, you have to file your GST return, right? Correct, everyone. For an example, we have Reliance over here. Who is there? Reliance has 1 lakh invoices. How many invoices Reliance has? All the invoices, the detail, Reliance wants to upload on the gst.gov.in because return has to be filed. When you will file your return, you have to upload all your invoice ka details. Now, Reliance is telling I have 10 lakh invoices in one month. How many invoices in one month, everyone? Ten now, 10 lakh invoices the detail how to upload. It is telling, sir, when I have to file my return on the gst.gov.in, full headache. In my tally, for an example, 10 lakh invoices I have already accounted. Now, you are telling from my tally, I have to put the data where, everyone? It means manually I have to feed one by one, one by one, one by one. Sir, too much of headache. Give me some simple way. So, government told you can take the help of GST Suvida provider. What GST Suvida provider will do, they are basically IT companies, information technology companies. What they will do, they will develop one software. What software will do? No, it will take the data from your software and directly put it where everyone in the gst.gov.in. Now, tell me one thing is GST Suvida provider providing you Suvida? Is it providing you ease? By what everyone? It is pulling your data from your software and directly pushing it to the GSTN. Is it helping you in filing your return? Yes or no everyone? Supposingly, GSPs could not develop the software. Sometimes they go ahead and take the help of ASPs, Application Service Provider. As the name suggests, Application Service Provider, they will go ahead and develop the application. Are we clear everyone? Now, so basically GSPs are a link between whom? Taxpayer. And GSTN. Do you guys agree with me? And ASP is between whom? GSP and the taxpayer. So, taxpayer wanted a software. GSP could not develop. So, they took the help of whom? So, ASP is a link between whom? Taxpayer and the GSP. And taxpayer and the GSTN, who is the link? GSP. Is my point clear to all? So, when they can't develop the software, they take the help of ASP. Are we all clear till here? That is what is being told over here. IT, ITS, financial technology companies, GSPs are who? IT, information technology, information technology enabled services, ITS, financial technology companies who are appointed by whom? Who appoints GSPs everyone? GSTN only appoints. To develop application for taxpayer, to interact with GSTN, they facilitate taxpayer in uploading invoice related detail, filing of return, they customize the product according to the need of the 
user. Tell me one thing, instead of Reliance, supposedly Tata was there. Tata wanted some other facility. Can the GSP develop it for them? Yes. Are we clear everyone? So GSPs are IT, ITES companies who go ahead and help the taxpayers in basically all this customizing products, softwares, etc. So that the data can be taken and put to the GSTN. Are we clear everyone? GSP is act as a link between whom? GSTN and the taxpayer. And ASP is act as a link between whom? Taxpayer and the? GSPs take the help of ASPs also. GSPs act as a link between taxpayer and GSTN. And ASPs act as a link between whom? Taxpayer and GSP. Are we all clear till here everyone? Have we discussed everything from the chart book? Yes people, we are done with the chapter. Now we'll do one thing everyone. We will see what is the major portion we have gone ahead and covered. Now I want to go ahead and cover small small things which are there in your uh, textbook. In your textbook there are small small things. Aram se sit, aram se keep listening. See that we have covered everything. Whatever we have not covered, we will cover. You guys aram se sit and see on the board everyone. See. Did we cover what is tax, everyone? Yes. yes. Now, next. What is tax? Compulsory charge under an act so that government can give you the various public services. So, government can meet the various public expenditures. Did we learn about, learn about direct tax, indirect tax ka differences, everyone? Next. Did I tell you about the features of direct tax? Here, here, here features of indirect tax. Indirect tax is on what, everyone? Okay, first of all, it says important source of revenue for the government. Is it an important source? <laughs> Tell me one thing. How many of you have, are paying income tax? One, two, three, four, Okay, I am also paying, na? so four. So, I am telling, in such a big class, there are only three, four people, right everyone? Mostly all the students who are there don't pay income tax. But how many of you are paying GST? Everyone pays GST? So tell me one thing, in which income for the government is more direct tax or indirect tax? Indirect tax. So it's an important source of revenue for the, it's a tax on what? Goods, commodities means what? Goods and? Yes or no? Burden can be shifted. No perception of direct means. Tell me one thing, I took the tax also from you. You didn't feel the pinch also that you have paid the tax. Yes or no, everyone? But when we pay income tax, it directly pinches. Sir, when we pay income tax, that, that it directly pinches. Oh, from my pocket it is going. But when you pay indirect tax, you don't feel only. Are you guys able to understand? Yes or no, everyone? You went to one hotel. You paid 20 rupees plus 5 rupees tax. Did it pinch you? You don't even come to know. But direct tax, when you have to pay, no, you earned 1 lakh rupees income. Paid 30,000, then it will pinch you. Are you guys able to understand? So, indirect tax, no perception of direct pinch. It promotes social welfare. Indirect tax promotes social welfare. I'll tell you why. Tobacco pay, the rate is more. Sin items which are there, no sin item like tobacco, pan masala, etc. Government keeps the rate more. When government keeps the rate higher, people will chew less tobacco, people will chew less pan masala. That's the perception. For people who chew, it doesn't matter only. Uh, everyone here. So it says it promotes what? Social welfare. How does it promote social welfare? More taxes, people will chew, less tobacco, less pan masala, etc. Can I go ahead, everyone? Next. It is regressive in nature. Are we all clear till here? Indirect tax is regressive. What is GST? Did we learn about article? Did I tell you the story why alcohol pay? Huh? Next, why was GST introduced? What was the problem in the earlier tax system? Cascading effect, double taxation, no sandwich credit to trader or dealer. You remember excise duty ka credit I will not get. There were many taxes like luxury tax, entertainment tax, etc. Government told forget all these taxes and now get what everyone? Yes. GST. CST was another sort of distortion in terms of cascading effect. People, I'll talk little about CST. Not important, but I'll tell you. Listen. Earlier, what used to happen, no? If you were buying from other state, people listen carefully. People over here. I am in the state of Karnataka. 
I sold goods to one person in the state of Tamil Nadu earlier. Earlier, if you used to now, what do you charge everyone? Now, what do you charge? IGST goes to whom? Central government. Will he get the credit? Yes. Or central government will keep 50 and 50 to which state? Destination state. Do you guys agree with me? Earlier, what used to happen? I'll tell you. Earlier, whenever one person used to sell goods to another state, for an example, 100 rupees ka goods sold, I used to charge him central sales tax, 2 rupees. Central sales tax was 2%. How much everyone? 2 rupees. He will give me 100 rupees plus. You know, this 2 rupees, I used to give to my Karnataka state government. How much Karnataka state government got? Now, this Tamil Nadu guy, he is registered in which state? He bought the goods. He wants input tax rate how much? But tell me one thing. Will Karnataka government give Tamil Nadu guy co credit? It means he will not get the credit. Can you tell me what is his cost now? 100 and when he is selling, he will charge GS, he will charge VAT on 100 and cascading effect. Yes or no, everyone? So, people, what they are telling is earlier there was CST, there was no IGST, there was and CST was another sort of distortion in terms of cascading. Because of CST, what was happening, everyone? I used to give it to my state government. People, don't you think this is an origin tax? Origin based taxation. Destination government is not getting the tax. Who is getting the tax? Right or wrong? Right or wrong? wrong. Correct or not? This is wrong. Who should get the tax? <laughs> With IGST, is the destination government getting the tax? Yes. Are we all clear? Can I go ahead? Next. Various features. Did we learn, everyone? GST is a. It's a tax on GST is a and GST is a destination based. GST is a value added. Did we already learn about this? People, see, tell me one thing. He sold the goods over here. 100 rupees plus 10 rupees CGST and this he will get how much? 100, 10 plus. At the first stage, he will give how much? You don't have to do anything. Just keep listening. First stage, how much? 10 CGST and 10. Can you tell me his input tax credit, everyone? Input tax rate, CGST, how much? SGST, how much? Can you tell me he is selling now, right? Cost is how much? 100. He made a profit of 10. 100 and how much is the CGST? SGST? How much is the total selling price? Can you tell me output tax liability, everyone? 11 and input tax credit. How much will I pay to the government? 1 and second stage. Can you tell me how much input tax rate he will get? 11 and 11 and 11. He sold the goods. What is his cost? People, you got it now? Sure, everyone? Profit? Selling price 121. Can you tell me output tax liability? And 12 point. Input tax credit. Can you tell me how much to pay to government? 1.1. 1. 1.3rd 1. 1. stage. Correct everyone. Can you tell me how much government got? 12.1 and 12 point. How much customer paid? Did we already understood this? Sure, everyone. They are given you together. Now I have made separate. Is my point clear to all? Next. People, now listen. Earlier, what used to happen? Whenever goods used to be manufactured, by whom? What he used to charge everyone? Central excise duty. So if I am manufacturer, earlier if I used to manufacture, what use I used to charge everyone? Central excise. And government I used to give what everyone? Central excise duty. Earlier, whenever goods were being sold inter or intra within the state by a trader or a, he used to charge what? Value added tax. And value added tax used to go to which government everyone? Earlier, whenever goods were sold interstate, can you tell me interstate may what was charged? One state to another earlier? CS, it used to go to origin state government or destination state government? 
and whenever trader dealer used to sell he used to charge cst which used to go to origin state whenever services were being provided we don't call providing of service whenever services were being provided we don't call providing we call provisioning of service i am giving you service no i'll tell i am providing you service i am doing provisioning of service are we clear everyone by a service what he used to charge service tax used to go to home now goods and now this was earlier what used to happen correct now what is happening all these goods are service are goods and service only all this sales interested sales interested providing of service they don't call all this now they call only one word what is the word everyone so whenever good service will be supplied all these manufacturer trader dealer all these names are gone now everyone is called one person what is the name supplied by a taxable person what will be gst will be gst will be imposed and it will be paid to whom central government and 50 50 do you guys agree with me earlier some things used to go center some things used to go to set now both the government will eat 50 50 are we all clear till here can i go ahead everyone people all this what i have already told you i'm just running through the textbook people now here did we understand about dual model of gst everyone what is the dual model of gst what is the dual model whenever any transaction will happen central government will collect cgst state government will collect are we clear if it is central government and you union territory government cgst and ut are we all clear till here everyone next india has adopted its model from home canada now i want you guys to learn what is india because gst will be imposed where everyone gst will be imposed where everyone gst will be imposed in yeah sure sure everyone now what is india they gave one definition of india can you see the definition everyone everyone over here they gave one definition you don't have to worry you tell me one thing definition may first point says india means territory of india can you tell me what is the territory of india are this is the territory of india do you guys agree with me so is this india whenever any person sells goods over here will he charge the indian gst okay india first includes territory of india now this territory ka border say no if you go 12 nautical mile how many nautical mile everyone 12 nautical mile sir how much is 12 nautical mile see baba can i say can i say your weight is 80 kilometers no no like that in water we don't say the water may when we see the distance we don't say kilometer we say nautical mile and 12 nautical mile if i tell you in kilometer is approximately uh 20 actually one nautical mile is 1.853 kilometer it means approximately 22 kilometers are we clear so from here listen listen sir from the india ka baseline this base if i am going 12 nautical mile in the water that is also india so this is known as what everyone second one territorial waters of tell me one thing sir this side 12 nautical mile then same that is also india are people you think i am india you see i am india now if you go on the right side also 12 nautical mile then also it is india that water is india don't enter pakistan and say india no i am telling from the in the water that 12 nautical mile is india and this side also 12 nautical mile is yeah. India. Now, then they are telling third one. People, listen carefully. Under this water, there will be seabed, no? Are India will not get over here only. The water, the sea will be like this, no sand will be there. This third is known as seabed and subsoil. This is known as what everyone? Seabed. This is also India. This is also? Yeah. After this, no? You have over here this land okay this is how many nautical mile everyone if from the baseline 
you go up to 200 nautical mile. How many nautical mile, everyone? Now, sir, how much is 200 nautical mile in kilometer? 200 nautical mile into 1.853 kilometer. They will not ask you. Whatever. It, they will not ask you in the exam. Everyone listen now. This area which is there, no, this area. This area is known as exclusive economic zone. Exclusive economic zone. The zone ka economies can be exclusively used by India. This zone ka economies can be exclusively used by India. Sir, what do you mean by this? In this zone, if oil extraction, economies, economies means the money generating capacities of this zone can be only used by India. So, can US come in this zone and start doing oil refining? No. It can be only used by whom everyone? So, it is known as exclusive economic zone. Below this, you have soil. This is known as continental shelf. This is known as what everyone? And above part is known as what everyone? Exclusive economic zone. People don't worry about it. This uh, first chapter which I am writing, no. First chapter which I am writing. Okay, this note I will upload. Okay, so that if you want, you can also write in your uh, textbook later. Okay, everyone? Done? Okay. Keep listening now. First, Aram se listen. Tell me one thing. India means what? You see me, India. Territory of India. Then, 12 nautical mile is also India. Under that, seabed and subsoil is also. After that, 200 nautical miles tak exclusive economic zone or below that is also India. Are we all clear? Five things you will remember. India means the territory of India. territorial waters. Below that seabed and subsoil. After that everyone exclusive economic zone. Below that continental shelf is also India. Are we all clear till here everyone? Can I go ahead? Now, listen. Now they are telling, see, territory of India, territorial water, seabed and subsoil, continental shelf, exclusive economic zone. Now you tell me one thing. Above this territorial water, their airspace is also there, no? Plane can also fly from here to here. Plane is going in the air. This airspace which is there, no, above India and above the territorial water, that is also India. What, 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 everyone? Above India and above the territorial water, the airspace which is there is also yeah. and any goods or services supplied in India, GST will come. Is my point clear to all? Can I go ahead everyone? People, tell me above this exclusive economic zone airspace, is it India? Yes. No. Only territorial water and above the territory. Above the territorial water and above the territory. Can I go ahead, everyone? Next. People, states, how many states were there? 28 states plus 3 we added, right? Those 3 were what? Beauties with? Do you guys remember? States will always include a UT with. And hence, how many states we have? Can you tell me how many UTs we have? Andaman and Nicobar. Lakshadweep, Dadra and Nagara Valley, Daman and Dio, Ladakh, Chandigarh and any other territory. If any other territory is there, that is also Union Territory. I explained you intrastate. Did I explain you interstate? Intrastate, what will you always charge? CGSTN? Or CGSTN? Interstate, what will you always charge? Okay. Did we learn about the taxes which are gone? Central tax is gone, state tax is gone, taxes which have not gone. Did we learn about the various goods and services and the various taxes? Yes, yes everyone. Can you tell me alcoholic liquor for human consumption? Yes. State excise duty and VAT or CST? VAT when? Yes. Within the state. Outside the state? Yes. CST. Tobacco? Yes. Central excise duty and GST. 
ओपीएम जीएसटी एंड स्टेट एक्साइज ड्यूटी अदर गुड्स जीएसटी जीएसटी एंड डिड आई ऑलरेडी टेल यू अबाउट दिस ठीक है ओके वन पॉइंट इज देयर ओवर हियर नॉट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू नॉट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू बट स्टिल ओके पीपल लिसन एवरी वन ओवर हियर लिसन कैन वी गो हेड टेल मी वन थिंग ओके टेक टू मिनिट ब्रेक एंड देन विल कंटिन्यू ओके ओके ब्रेक ओवर एवरी वन ओवर हियर principles why subsuming the various taxes people listen when the government was going in and telling this tax we will delete this tax we will delete what was the thought of the government what principles did the government adopt when they were going in and telling we will delete this tax this tax this tax are we clear everyone they are telling the following principles were be kept in mind when the taxes were being subsumed can you tell me who decided to which tax will be subsumed very good so they are telling taxes or levies to be subsumed should primarily be in nature of what everyone yes or no everyone which taxes they will subsume direct tax or indirect tax indirect tax they will put in the fire and what will come out everyone gst, GST. taxes or levies to be subsumed should form part of transaction chain which commences with what import or manufacture of production at one end and consumption at tell me one thing which taxes they subsume we started from manufacturing till what in between whatever cst was there vat was there excise duty was there they went ahead and subsumed it are we clear next the subsuming should result in free flow of credit tell me one thing because they deleted some taxes what will happen because of that what will happen because of that free flow of tax will be there see they subsume excise duty they deleted excise duty will i get now credit of the gst earlier i was not getting the credit but now because they have deleted some old taxes what is happening freely everyone is getting the credit if i will get the credit i will use it for my output tax will there be any cascading effect no. yes or no? no any tax on tax will happen no, no. next revenue fairness for both union and state when they were going ahead and doing subsuming they told central government give your five taxes state government you give only two or they told state government you also give five it should result that equal amount of taxes should be taken from both of them put in the fire and what should come out which will be divided between both of them equally so they are telling revenue fairness for both union and state it means if central government gave up its 1 lakh crore ka taxes state government also should give up its 1 lakh crore ka taxes and what should come out now gst and gst will be divided between both of them equally are we clear everyone did we learn about the benefits all the benefits which i have told have been written here now what do you mean by genesis of gst everyone listen genesis of we are we are done with the chapter now small 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 things which are very basic we are talking about genesis means what history history is gone baba but still we will learn little history see it says france 1954 people what is the history of gst france was the first country to implement what GST. at present how many countries are implementing gst now in india in india in india in the year 2000 in india in the year 2000 the president mooted the concept of gst means that time the president who was there he told that we will get gst into india and he set up a committee which is known as what everyone and set up a committee to design what gst model for the when did the thought come in the come in india 2000 when did gst actually come in india 2000 so after that 2004 mein they created one task force kolkata task 
force actor actually one dr vijay kelkar was there in below him they created one task force I mean they created one small committee for who told that in india may what should be there everyone fully integrated gst on national basis are we clear everyone he told what gst on national basis sir what do you mean by gst on national basis okay models of gst are of different type one is national model and other i will tell you as of now is the dual model okay everyone what is the national model of gst i will tell you in national model of gst what what will happen no total amount of gst will go to central government first where will the gst go it means on all transaction what will be charged igst on all transaction what will be charged igst will go to whom and then central government will give it to the states this is known as which model that was recommended did india adopt national model you tell me one thing india india may what happened no india ka states told sir we don't want national model all money will first go to bjp and then we are in a state we want money we will say sir we are from aam aadmi party please give us money so we have to ask are you guys able to understand so do you want people i am not favoring any political party i love all of them equally theek ha i love all of them equally now you tell me one thing do you want your money to first go to your papa and then you tell papa please give me money to go out with my boyfriend girlfriend or you want your money to come to you only <laughs> correct so your money to come to you only right who wants to be dependent like that the state told we don't want full igst we want dual model any transaction happening center we you take your portion state told i will take my portion i will not depend on the first all money will go to center then ask like a beggar not required are we clear but there is little little igst there that was because there is no other option are we clear everyone so igst goes to central government and 50% comes to the state that is still there but india still came up with which model everyone yeah. who will charge the gst both center and state center government charges cgst state, state government charges yes are we all 100% clear next so that's what they are telling that kelkar task force wanted what igst national model but did national model come in india or dual model came yes. next then in 2006 7 p chidambaram who was presenting the budget he announced that gst will come in india in 2010 who told p chidambaram after that people listen to me very carefully you want to introduce gst people you want to introduce gst it means you want to collect gst to collect gst gst act has to be there cgst act yes or no everyone now to make the gst act your constitution of india may article number 246 as to be there article number 269 as to be there yes or no that sir central government and state government will make the law together igst will be going to whom central government they will divide this law has to be there in where everyone yes or no everyone then only you can make the law no are yes or no now constitution of india may this gst ka thought was not there only 1947 may did you write in the constitution about gst will come in india that time central government and state government will together make the law did you write that time so what to do now now they have to first amend the constitution amendment has to be done are we clear everyone are you guys able to understand first they will amend the constitution and put the thought of what gst that gst ka law will be made by center and state government together central government will make the law for cgst state government will make the law for sgst this all has to be written in the constitution of india i taught you article number 246 so first this article 246 has to be inserted in the constitution only if constitution allows you can make what law cgst act sgst act yes or no everyone so now first they had to amend the constitution now you tell me one thing any amendment to be done what do you have to do first first you are first central government will make a draft bill do you guys agree with me this draft bill will go where everyone lok sabha then again 
then again president president will and it will become what everyone act the same thing happened over here first they introduced constitutional amendment bill 122nd constitutional amendment bill why 122nd amendment because before this how many time already constitution is amended 121 so this was the 122nd time constitution is going to be it went where everyone lok sabha it went where everyone and then president signed it and then it became what 101 constitutional amendment act sir why did you write 101 see in the queue it was standing in 122 in the queue it was standing in which number but it ran faster from here jumping 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 when it came out it was the 101 constitutional amendment act means the constitution will now be amended is the constitution amended yes. people one minute see here they introduced the constitutional amendment act went where lok sabha went where then after that see everyone it got the president sign on what 8th of september now tell me is the constitution may the thought of article number 246a and article 269a inserted in the constitution can we make the gst act now to make the gst act what do we have to do now Array to make the GST Act, Constitution already allowing you. Mother Act is already allowing. First, you have to make C GST ka bill, I GST ka bill, UT GST ka bill. Bill will go where? Lok Sabha. Lok Sabha se where? Rajya Sabha se. President sign and it will become C GST, SG, uh, I GST. UTGST is my point clear? Can I collect under CGST Act? CGST now? Yes. Under IGST, can IGST be collected? Yes. Can UTGST be collected? Yes. Sir, SGST? Yes. State. So, SGST bill was introduced by the respective state in their state, state ka, Vidhan Sabha, and then it was passed and it became what SGST? So, Karnataka also passed it, Karnataka SGST Act in the state legislature. Are we clear everyone? Can see here, see here, 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 here. On 27th March, the central legislation introduced CGST bill, IGST bill, UTGST bill in the Lok Sabha. And on 29th, the Lok Sabha passed it. President gave the sign and the bill were enacted. It means 2017, 12th of April, all the bills were passed. It means, is the act there now? Once the act is there, can I collect GST now? Are we all clear? And hence, GST was rolled out in India. But you know what? Jammu and Kashmir, they did not pass their SGST Act. Government told you will pass or not. Then they passed. On 8th of July, GST, no, Baba. I'm just for classroom purpose, I'm telling. Okay? Uh, GST law was made applicable to the state of Jammu and they delayed it little, but later they agreed and they passed it in their state legislature. Are we clear? People, tell me one thing. Everyone here. CGST Act was passed through the Parliament. SGST was passed through the CGST. Now CGST Act is also there. SGST Act is also there. Can I collect CGST and SGST? Yes. Can I collect CGST and UTGST? Yes. Can I collect IGST? Yes. Very good. These all are already done. People, tell me one thing. I told you that they introduced 122nd Amendment Bill, right? That we want to amend the Constitution. Then it went where? Lok Sabha se Rajya Sabha and it got president signed and it became what? Constitutional Amendment. What was the features of the Constitutional Amendment Act? What changes the Constitutional Amendment Act brought in the Constitution? Listen. It gave concurrent power to Parliament and State Legislature to make the law governing taxes on goods and services. People, did central government and state government got equal power? Article number 246A was introduced. People, what was introduced? Article number 246? Because of which constitutional amendment act? 100 and 
Did both the government got equal power now? Yes. Central government will charge what? CGST, yes. cent state government will charge what? Yes. So did it give concurrent power to both the government to charge GST? Yes. Next. Sir, can you tell me, IGST ka law will be made by whom? Yes. Parliament. Parliament will make the IGST ka law. It will be collected by whom? Yes. Central government will apportion between center and? Yes. Now, tell me one thing. This was told in article number 269A. 269A was also introduced by which amendment? 101 constitutional amendment. See over here everyone. Levy of IGST on interstate of goods and services to be levied and collected by central and apportioned between union and state in the manner which is provided by whom? Parliament by law as per the recommendation of the GST. Next. This third one, I am not teaching you now. You leave it now. Next. GST, leave, leave third one, okay. GST will be levied on all supply of goods except alcoholic liquor for human consumption. You know, they introduce article number 366, clause 12A. With the help of which act? Constitutional Amendment Act. All the A's which are there, no? 269A, 246A. Article 279A, GST Council. All this was introduced by what? <laughs> Constitutional Amendment Act. Next. People, what are the five petroleum products on which as of now there is no GST? <laughs> In the Constitutional Amendment Act, they told, on the following product, GST shall not be levied till notified on the recommendation of GST. On which product? <laughs> HP man. In the Constitutional Amendment Act, they told the central government will retain the power to levy duty of excise, means central excise duty. On which product? Tobacco. Baba, tobacco pay. Government is still charging central excise duty. Where did they tell this? In the Constitutional Amendment Act. GST Council was created. Correct? Where did they tell this? Again, in the constitutional amendment, that we will create one joint forum. See here, everyone. Article 279A empowers the president to constitute a joint forum of the center and state, which is known as what, everyone? GST. When did the GST council come into effect? 15 September. Do you guys remember, everyone? How many members are there in the GST council? 33. Union, Union Finance Minister, Union Minister of State, and 31 state, 31 state finance. Are we clear everyone? You know what? All this you guys already learned, right? Yes or no everyone? These things were told where? <laughs> Constitutional amendment. Are we all clear till here? Can we go ahead? People getting it? Yeah. Theoretical chapter, no? Next chapter onwards, it is not theory. First chapter is little theory. You will have to bear with me. First chapter is little theory. Can we go ahead everyone? Next. 246A done. What did article number 246A tell everyone? Yes. Article number 246A. Parliament will make law for CGST. State legislature will make for SGST. IGST ka law will make? Parliament. Then article number 269A told IGST will be collected by whom? Central government. Then it central government will divide between whom? Center and state. Done, done, done. Now, one GST compensation says is there. People listen. You just have to know about this little. Okay. Tell me one thing. To collect CGST, which act is there? To collect SGST, which act is there? <laughs> to collect IGST, which act is there? <laughs> to collect UTGST, which act is there? <laughs> Do you guys agree with me? To collect any amount as tax, there has to be an act. Do you guys agree with me? Yes. Okay. Now, GST was coming in India in 2017. Okay. States told, sir, before 2017, Supposingly, our revenue was 100 crore rupees. 
इवन स्टेट गवर्नमेंट टोल्ड द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट वी डोंट वॉन्ट जीएसटी बिकॉज जीएसटी से नो लॉस विल लॉस विल बी देर सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट टोल्ड हाउ स्टेट गवर्नमेंट टोल्ड फॉर एन एग्जाम्पल वन स्टेट कर्नाटका स्टेट गवर्नमेंट टोल्ड सर बिकॉज ऑफ कमिंग ऑफ जीएसटी वी थिंक वॉट एवर टैक्सेज वी पुट स्वाहा नो विल नॉट अर्न दैट मच वी विल इट कैन हैपन नो बिकॉज वी गेव अप ऑल आर ओल्ड टैक्सेज नाउ बिकॉज ऑफ जीएसटी फिफ्टी परसेंट ओनली विल अर्न जीएसटी का विल वी गेट दैट मच टैक्स और नॉट वी डोंट नो तो सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट टोल्ड सी बिकॉज ऑफ कमिंग ऑफ जीएसटी इफ यू आर अर्निंग हंड्रेड क्रोन यू विल अर्न फोर्टीन परसेंट एक्स्ट्रा means you will earn how much 100 and karnataka government told what if we don't earn that what if you earn only 90 crore how much is a loss 114 i should have earned i want only 19 how much is a loss central government told don't worry if any loss happens because of coming of gst central government wanted gst they told any loss because of coming of gst we will pay you who will pay everyone are we clear are right, to pay also money should be there no central government told we will pay so to pay money has to be there money will come from when where bakra who is bakra <laughs> consumer so what government did everyone here government told people government told now we have to compensate the state we have to compensate the state because of coming of gst if any loss is there we have to compensate how to compensate take it from the bakra so government introduced gst gst compensation says we will start charging on luxury car pan masala tobacco people what is government charging cgst sgst normal okay along with that what they are charging additionally yes. gst compensation says they will collect hey, you you are crying you take hey you are crying you take hey state you are having loss you take Are you guys able to understand? And that is GST compensation. Yes. To collect this says act has to be there, and the act ka name was GST compensation to state act. Are we clear, everyone? And that is what is told over here. See, a GST compensation spe says at specified rate have been imposed under the yes. compensation to state act. On specified luxury and demerit good like pan masala, tobacco, aerated. What is aerated water, everyone? What is aerated water? What is aerated water? Carbonate, carbonated drink, cold drinks, etc. Next, motor car, and it will be computed on the supply. Whatever is the value of the supply on that, what they will calculate, everyone. So now, what government will do, everyone? Whenever they are selling car, they will collect what? Cess and cess will be given to whom? State. Whichever state is having a loss. Next, compensation cess will be levied on intra or interstate supply with a view to provide compensation to state from loss arising on account of what everyone? <laughs> Implementation of GST. Initially, GST compensation cess was levied for five years, that is up to 30th June. However, Five years means 2017 to 2022. Now, government have extended the collection till what date? Everyone, 2000. Anyways, Bakra is ready to pay. Take it from the Bakra. Are we clear, everyone? Now, this is only for your knowledge. In the exam, they don't go ahead and ask any question on GST compensation cess. However, you should know that there is something called GST compensation cess. We learned about article. We learned about common portal. Did I tell you about GST suvidha provider, everyone? Now, tell me one thing. How many GST Act is there? CGST Act, IGST Act, SGST Act, UT. Can you tell me CGST is levied on intra or inter? IGST on? SGST on? I uh, UT GST on? Clear, everyone. Next. How many number of acts are there? CGST Act. How many CGST Act across India when GST is collected? How many CGST Act is there? One. Can you tell me IGST? How many SGST? How many states are there? UT GST. One UT GST Act made by the central government applicable for the all the UTs. Now, sir, number of sections. 
are there you don't have to remember section number but i am telling you how many sections are there 174 but you learn only up to section number 52 approximately section number 52 you learn 1 to 52 remaining section points are we clear everyone next people now listen for you sgst act and utgst act they don't test they don't test which one yes, yes. sgst and utgst act here also they test you approximately 52 sections are there which they test you and igst act also there are how many sections everyone out of which five to seven sections they test you which we'll be talking in the class are we clear everyone so sgst act is not applicable for you guys i you utgst is also not applicable we'll be learning cgst act and we'll be learning igst act are we clear everyone no people there's something called an act there's something called rules yes what do you mean by act and what do you mean by rules i want to ask you guys okay when i tell gst law People, when I tell the GST law, GST ka law, the law can be divided into GST Act, GST rules, GST may notifications, and GST may circulars. What are the act? What are the rules? What are the notification? And what are the okay? People, listen to me very carefully. Everyone over here, very, very important, kindly listen. What we are learning, act, what is an act? GST act, what do you mean by an act? Act will always tell you what is to be done. For an example, the act will tell you, the act will tell you what is to be done. What is to be done means, for an example, you have to take registration only when you cross a turnover of 20 lakh. Who told you? Act. Act will tell you what is to be done. Act told you you have to take registration when you cross. For an example, 20 lakh. Act told you. Now, how registration is to be taken? Which form has to be filled? How many days may I should apply? How the officer will do verification? How my registration certificate will be given? all those so act will tell you what is to be done how it is to be done to be who will tell you act is always supported by the rules act tells you what is to be done rules will always tell you registration has to be taken when you cross 20 lakh how it is to be taken who will teach you rules. are we clear everyone now what do you mean by notification notification means amendments are we clear? Amendment which the government brings during the year come by notification. Government issues a notification and then if when if government issues the notification, that is an amendment. Are we on the recommendation of council? If government issues a notification, these are amendments which happen during the year. For an example, if I tell you, can you tell me when are you guys writing your exam? November, November 2000 and you know, for you guys, all the notifications which are issued six months prior, it means all the notifications which are issued by the government till 30th of April 2000 and means till here, whatever notifications will come, are they applicable for your exam? After this, ka, government is selling no. But what are notifications actually? Amendments. Are we clear? Which? Which? Basically, once the government issues, it will be up, amendment will start. Means uh, there is a new change which government have brought. But for you guys, because you are writing in November 24, till when come amendments are applicable? 30th April 2000 and are we clear everyone? Sir, what is today? Today is 27th of March 2024, sir. But still, if any amendment come, don't worry about it. In During the class, I will be teaching you guys. Are we clear? Sir, our class to will get over by 15th of April. After that, till 30th of April, if any amendment comes, then don't worry about it. Uh, that amendment ka class also will be provided in the class. Uh, means once the lecture gets over, after that, I will provide. If any additional amendment comes, that video will be provided to you guys. Are we clear, everyone? But as of now, 
you guys have to remember that if you are writing your exam for number 24 all the amendments will be discussed in the class are we clear now there might be some student people tell me one thing who might be writing their exam in may 25 can you tell me six months prior means what date 31st of october 24 before this any amendments come will be applicable to them but tell me one thing in the class we are discussing amendment till what date 30th April 2000 all the notification all the changes which come before this will be discussing in the class sir what about any amendment which come during this period for November 24 it is not applicable but for May 25 it is applicable don't worry about it on the YouTube channel it will be provided for your institute uh, for our institute basically whatever is our institute ka YouTube channel it will be provided in that for the students uh, who have taken the classes from rameshoni.com, you can go to C. Rameshoni YouTube channel and you will find the amendment. Okay, everyone. Now, don't worry about it. Are we all clear till here? Tell me one thing. 30th uh, November 24 student, all the amendments we will discuss in the class. And for May 25 also, till 30th April, the amendment we will discuss. After that, if any amendment come, it will be uploaded on the YouTube channel. Are we clear, everyone? Now. Tell me one thing. What do you mean by notification? Amendments. Amendments. Are we clear everyone? So whenever government issues a notification, whenever government issues a, that is known as an Circular means what? Circular means clarification. Circular means whenever government issues a clarification, if clarification is issued before 30th of April, that can still be applicable to you. What is a clarification? Whether this item pay rate of GST will be 18 or 28. Sir, I am not able to understand. So, government will clarify. Sir, whether this item when I am selling GST will come or not. By chance, if there is any doubt anywhere, might be. We will be seeing in the due course of time circulars. Circulars means whenever two officers of the government one is telling gst will come on this item one is telling gst will not come on this item any fight is there then cbic central board of indirect tax they clarify whether gst will come gst will not come all those things are being issued as a so all these are what everyone circulars are basically so for you guys can you tell me november 24 student till when can notifications and circulars are applicable 30th april 2024 are we clear everyone after we finish the classes, if any amendment come, because 15th April will finish the classes in 15 days, if any amendment come, that video also will be provided to you guys along with the other videos which are there. Are we clear everyone? Can we go ahead everyone? Sir, I am writing in May 25. May 25 related amendment, we will release it on YouTube. Can we go ahead everyone? Are we clear till here? Now, tell me one thing. What is an act? <laughs> What is the GST Act? GST Act will tell you what is to be. Whenever goods you supply, GST has to be paid. Now, how something has to be done? Rules. Rules. What is notification? Amendments. Amendments. So, till when can notifications are applicable to you guys? 30th April 2024. For May 25, 31st October. Can I go ahead? What are circulars? clarifications any doubts etc to be clarified by the government government issues what everyone circular are we clear everyone and that is what is told over here act and rules what do you mean by act everyone and how it is to be done that is told by the gst rules and these are the rules we will also be learning the rules in the class okay now, how many rules are there? Rule number one, rule number two, you don't have to worry about all those things. Section numbers, rule numbers, you don't have to remember. Are we clear, everyone? <coughs> Is my point clear to all? Now. People. What, sir? Who told, sir? Uh, everyone on the board. Now, having done with the chart book. We have done, gone ahead and discussed the chart book, everyone, everything. Let's see, are we able to do question answers or not? People over here now. Explain the salient features of indirect tax. Did I already explain you? What is it, everyone? Did I already explain you all of them? 
Yes, everyone. Next. What are the taxes which are subsumed? Did I tell you about central taxes and state taxes which are gone? Yes. What are the taxes which are? Did we already discuss everyone? Next. GST is a destination based tax on consumption of goods services. Discuss the validity of the statement. Tell me one thing everyone. Do you guys agree with me? GST is a destination based tax. Yes. Please discuss the validity. You know? Right. Right for three marks. Right, pick up your pen and write everyone. People are still not believing. Oh no sir. We have to write the answer. Yes Baba in the exam you can't talk. You have to write. Right now, let's see what do you write. I've already taught it to you, no? Are you no no? GST is a destination based tax. Correct? See, difference between learning and writing, right? Let's see what do you write. We have to learn how to write also, no? Right. Right. I'll pause the video. People watching at home, right. Right, Baba, right. It is very difficult to write. Some of you might be picking up the pen and thinking what to write. Yes or no, everyone? That is the trick in the exam. Learning when a teacher talks, you will understand everything. But then when you have to write, that is that will give you marks. So you'll have to start writing, right? Chalo, done writing. You like your answer? No. no, no. Then how will the examiner like it? Chalo, let's see. Today is the first day, right? By the 15th, 28th day, if you are writing with me every day, people who left the class and went from backside thinking, well, who will write? Let me go enjoy a break and come. They are gone, bye-bye, for the exam. Gone. Next year, they will come again. Because they are never writing and they are thinking they are heroes. Can you write the answer without practicing? Is it possible? You will get zero. See, now let's see the answer. And you tell me how much will you give yourself. See, they first ask the statement is valid or not. So, how many of you said the statement is valid? Very good. First, if they are asking you validity or not, you have to say if the statement is valid or not. See, chapter number one, hardly they go ahead and ask a question. But still, Learning can start from chapter number one also. Right, everyone? Now, GST is a destination based tax on what, everyone? Consumption of goods or service or both. GST is known as destination based tax since the tax would accrue to the taxing authority which has jurisdiction over the place of. Where will the tax go? Where the goods are finally? Which is also termed as the place of. Where did you go ahead and supply? That place is known as what everyone? Place of? I am in Karnataka. Supplied in Tamil Nadu. Place of supply is what? Tax will go to Karnataka or Tamil Nadu? Is my point clear? But do you see the writing the language? See, when I am teaching, no. At the time of teaching, if I tell you high level language, you will not understand anything. First, I have to teach you with basic language. Then when you start practicing, your language has to grow better. Can I go ahead everyone? Next. Now example. See, they have written an example. How many of you wrote an example? Very good. Very good. Can I go ahead? See here. If A is in Delhi, produces the goods and sells to whom everyone? B in Haryana. In this case, the tax would accrue to the state of and not to the state of. On the other hand, under pre-GST regime, origin based taxation was prevalent and uh, uh, earlier what used to happen origin did i tell you everyone cst one state to another state what was charged everyone cst and the cst used to remain with whom origin government did the destination state wala person got the credit what will happen no credit then cascading effect under origin based tax the tax would accrue to the state from where the transaction Originated in the given case under origin based taxation, the CST 
would be levied by center and collected by the state of and not by the state of yeah. are we clear cst central sales tax used to go to home origin state and it would never used to go to the destination state are we all clear till here can i go ahead next under gst only value addition is taxed. do you guys agree with me yes. and burden is borne by the final consumer is the statement correct yes. you will write only this much after that <laughs> correct uh, see here goods and service tax is a destination based tax on consumption of goods and it is levied at stage right from manufacturing up to final consumer did i tell you already manufacturer till the final consumer it is levied at every with credit of tax paid at previous stage available for whatever tax i pay i will get the credit and i can use it too do you guys agree with me resultantly only value addition is did i show you that only value addition which you do on that tax will come and burden of the tax is shifted to the final consumer did we learn about the benefits everyone here all the benefits are given next what are the commodities which have been kept outside the purview can you tell me what are the two commodities which are out of gst as of now hp, HP man and alcoholic liquor for human hp man what is the tax central excise duty and vat or cst alcoholic liquor state excise duty vat and cst next which type of gst is proposed to be implemented in india which which model everyone dual model what happens in dual model both central and state government levy gst concurrently central government will charge what everyone yes. state government will charge everyone yes. next people did we all learn about the various goods pay what are the various taxes where on the chart ka right hand side constitutional provision why was the constitution of uh, india amended everyone why was the constitution of uh, india amended because center and state had to be given equal power so that they can go ahead and charge gst yes or no everyone and so that concurrent power can be provided they went ahead and amended the constitution of india which article was introduced to what is x a do you remember everyone did we learn article number 246 a did we learn 269 a both are here gst council people any five matter on which GST council can make recommendation. Can you try and write everyone? I'll give you two minutes ka time, right? Pick up your pen and write. Eh, who don't do? Write. Eh? Right? Pick up your pen and write. Write, write, write. People watching at home, write, Baba, write. If you want to pass, you have to write. People who don't write, fail. Don't write, no problem. Then later, don't tell me taxation. I failed. I'll pause the video quickly. Right? Try, try, Baba. At least try. One thing which I have seen among students is when they are writing their answer, they are using pencils. You are LKG kids, so what? Going to become a charter accountant, you will sign a balance sheet and say I'll erase with a eraser. No, I did not sign it. Next time I see anyone using pencil in the class, pencil. And tomorrow onwards, one notebook. Everyone, I want a notebook for practicing. What do we want, everyone? Practicing ke liye one notebook. No writing on the last page of the notebooks and no pencils. You need one pen, one calculator, and one notebook. Done, everyone. Tomorrow, I will tell once again. Today, I have told you. Tomorrow, I will tell you. Day after tomorrow, I will not tell. I will send you home and call your papa also. <laughs> telling, please. Please send the kid with a notebook. Done? Are we all done? Madam, what did you write? Read. You told no done. Right? Whoever tells done. 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 Very good. Right, Baba, right.
Can we go ahead, everyone? Chalo. Everyone over here. So, what are the various uh, recommendations which they can go ahead and give? What are the taxes to be subsumed? Then, the goods and service which will be subject to GST and which will be exempted. The date on which GST will be levied on? HP man. The next model GST law. Threshold limit for turnover for registration. The rates of GST, special rate in case of or any natural calamity, etc. Special provision for special category state. And the last one, everyone, any other matter as the council may. Please remember at least five of them. Okay. Next. Do you remember special category state? Yes, everyone. What are the humans? Tripura and Jammu and? Very good. Did we learn about GST and everyone goods and service tax network? Did I tell you about the function? The same thing over here. Now, the next one over here is listen, everyone. The next one is the GST. Goods and service GST. Ka MCQs which are there. Now, listen to me very carefully. Everyone over here, listen. Now, everyone over here, listen. This goods and service tax, GST and introduction, people listen to me very carefully. This MCQs which are there, one to two mark MCQ they go ahead and ask. This MCQs, I want you guys to do as homework. Sir, why are you not doing it? Because if I go ahead and do it, then what will you apply your brain? Baba, you have learned, right? You have to apply your brain and do something. Are, what you have learned, you have to apply, yes or no? And you see, the answer also is not MCQ. The answer is given in detail by me. So, if by chance you get stuck, you can see the answer. By chance you are not able to do anything, you guys can ask me in the class, in the next class. Might be tomorrow. Yes, everyone, are we all clear? So, I'll do one thing, everyone. I'll go ahead. I'll go ahead and close my discussion on chapter number one. Are we done, everyone? Here, we'll go ahead and close our discussion on chapter number one. Okay. Now, what will you do today at home? Today at home, we will go ahead and revise this. You will go ahead and revise this and then you will do what everyone? MCQs. Done everyone. I will do one thing. I will close my class over here. My today's class, I will go ahead and close over here. In the next class, what are we going to do everyone? In the next class, we will be going ahead and starting with the next chapter, which is known as the chapter of supply. Congratulations people. We are done with chapter number one. Ka complete discussion as well as the question answer solving mcqs you guys will be doing at home i'll see you guys in the next class bye guys bye everyone